Yeah, it's and funny. that's how, and that's, and that's why I only sleep with older women. <laughs> you know, welcome back. welcome back to the KF Continuum podcast. We're yes, back. welcome Three. back. This is it. Um, no faces this time. I have not managed to get my camera working. It's been like two weeks since we recorded, man. Can you believe that? Mm-hmm. We like took a like, solid vacation. Yeah, well, you did because you should have a fucking like. Yeah. yeah, all my shit broke at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm working paycheck to paycheck, so, you know, it had, I had a, I couldn't just drop $300 in equipment, like, right out the gate. That's fair. But, That's fair. you know. Um, yeah, anyways, cool welcome back. back. This is episode 8, finally. I believe so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, episode 8 is coming up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We have returned. Is... We got a real doozy for you here. Yes, um, we've we've got multiple things like Optimus Prime. If you could not tell by the yeah. everything on screen right now, and probably the title and thumbnail of this episode, um, Optimus Prime is here. I probably should have f- fucked around enough to put the other ones up on there too. But like, really, but who cares? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, with Optimus Prime, I think we might talk about a few other things, but I think they're all kind of kind of grouped. No, right? we're gonna spend yeah. a solid hour and a half just talking about Prime and everything yeah. he's ever done. You know, like yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> that sounds like a perfectly reasonable way for us to spend our hour. I think. <laughs> I think so. That's what we do in our spare time. <laughs> yeah. This it literally is like. <laughs> Dude, it's it's funny because what we talk about the podcast is literally just like. It's just how we talk. Conversations. It's just, yeah. This is what we do. He's on his way to go to The see only him. thing that would make this more authentic is if I like turned on my Xbox right now and I was playing Destiny 2 Crucible while we were talking and yeah. recording the podcast. And I'm more professional than that, so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah, we won't get that personal, you know? I'm not going to start like yeah. doxing motherfuckers, but like <laughs> we could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Really Just put that out there for if any of you are listening. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely that's definitely an option, yeah. You know. Yeah, but if we ever run out of content, we'll start doxing people for now. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that works. That works for me. Yeah. Um, that's why it's called the Chaos Continuum. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I've been on this Transformers kick. We've been talking about it. I mean, you know, this is more for people listening because, of course, you know, we've been talking about Transformers basically nonstop for like the last week off yeah. of this. And I've just I discovered how like brutal Optimus Prime is in all of the Michael <laughs> Bay movies. Like, it's almost like he loses... It's like, I like in the cartoons, he's like old Kratos. Yeah, you know? Yeah, it's like and he then, fights when he needs to. And in the movies, he's like young Kratos, you know? I mean, <laughs> in, in, the, in the cartoons, he still fights. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? But he's not ripping Megatron's spine out of its socket with an axe. like. Exactly, right? It's almost like sometimes it feels like um, the, the, in the cartoons, the relationship between Optimus and Megatron is like Professor X and Magneto. Yeah, you know, I mean? you know what? This is I, one I don't know how they would get it to work, but I really want Optimus Prime, even if it's just like a smaller variant of him, like a you know like a mini Bender version type thing yeah. of Optimus Prime in Mortal Kombat. I think that would fucking kill. I, love that. <laughs> I think I love that. Can you imagine <laughs> the fatalities? Like, <laughs> fuck the Terminator! Give me Optimus Prime, <laughs> dude. I want to see. I want to see like. One of his, like, brutalities or whatever, like, imagine it was full-size Optimus, so it's like, you see the other fighter, and you just see Optimus from, like, the knee down. Yeah, but I want to see him, and I want to see one of his, like, brutalities or whatever, he just, like, picks him up, you see the person get lifted up, and then just blood coming down as he, like, transforms into a truck, and it comes down into the truck, and there's, like, an arm sticking out of the door, or the, the hood of it, or whatever, you know? Dude, you just his x-ray attack as he jumps in the air, turns into a truck. I could just slam it <laughs> yeah it just fucking hits you oh uh, man I, like yeah i i think that i think one of the reasons why i love transformers is i know it's like a, oh my god it's like robots but i think the unique concept is <laughs> it's very you know, like look- it's very 80s but it's also very like surprisingly original even to like this day like the idea of transformers like we were talking about this like in age of extinction like having a transformers movie or something that's like the transformers fighting a war but like the humans not really knowing about it like when you see optimus prime like he's like in his truck form and he's just like in the back of a museum like covered in fucking dust and dirt because yeah. he's been hiding out for however long or he like technically died yeah. like 
that to me that concept of like you know literally robot because they like they turn into robots but they're never in disguise like they're never hiding the fact that they're transformers like you can tell this prime is like a red <laughs> and blue semi truck like with flames like you can flames. tell <laughs> when the autobots roll into town because there's a massive blue and red flamed semi truck and seven brightly colored super expensive sports cars right behind him and then maybe a military hummer at the very end of that and it's like okay that's the autobots <laughs> it's like okay this, this is weird like these these things shouldn't be together yeah, yeah. They're, they they pick like the highest profile cars ever like what yeah. was it the the silverado that bumblebee turns into in the first transformers yeah. movie it like wasn't even out on the market yet like it was a concept car at that point well, and I think that that's what they're like. A lot of the Michael Bay movies and chill out cars. Well, yeah, you know obviously, I mean? it's right. just a fucking ad for cars. Yeah, yeah. I want to know what but company makes that, that semi truck. <laughs> yeah, but it, it like makes sense, you know what I mean? Because like as a yeah. kid, I see like cars look like Bumblebee, and I'm like, oh my god, like it's become, Bumblebee. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Like you notice them. It, like, yeah, it works. Like now that I think about it, it works surprisingly. Yeah, because you, like, associate it with a character you like. You, there's no real other, like, media that, like, does it. Like, Gears of War, I have a prop of the Lancer and, like, the cog tags and yeah. stuff. But it's like, there's no... I'm not going to be able to buy the fucking car from Gears of War, you know? Like... <laughs> like, I see, like, these supercars, and I'm like, oh, my God, they're trans... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> you see a Corvette, and you're like, oh, my God, it's Sideswipe. Like, I think the only other series that like kind of has an effect with cars is like mad max but even still that's like people go out of their way to like custom make cars that look like mad max yeah it's not like just a car you can like go the, up and it's just a regular like car you buy and associate it <laughs> yeah that they like yeah that's less mad max that's more, uh, t- <laughs> that's more <laughs> local <anti-dash>. terrorism yeah <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> but yeah or it's like you just still see people like even now that the movies are like so old but you still see people with like silverados that got like the autobot logo on the front of it like they like yeah. make it look like a transformer more so but yeah no i oh, we're going i sorry <laughs> you're good <laughs> um, it's it's called the now, chaos continuum um but yeah, yeah. it's like so it it chills out cars but it has an excuse for it you know it's like um people talk about like putting ads in video games like the only places i think that ads inside of a game are acceptable is like sports games or like car games because it feels wrong to not have a nascar game that also has you know like wonder bread or like monster energy on the side of it right yeah or like a ufc like pentagon that's just fucking empty like it's just blank it just says ufc on the ground it's like hold on where's all the sponsors that are normally here (laughs) Yeah, no, and that's like, yeah, I just, I think, sorry about that, chaos. Yeah, um, you're good. I just, I just, I think that one of the reasons why it just does it so well, just because it's a natural thing, right? And I, th- you know, like you said about the racing games and all that, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's a very it's, natural It goes hand in hand, you know? Yeah. It's not like you're playing fucking Apex Legends and then, like, in between matches you get a Coca-Cola ad, you know, or something like that. Yeah, like, it's right? it's not imagine, way out of left field. Of gaming, I guarantee that's going to be the feature of gaming, yeah. I mean, it it probably will be games. at some point. In, in, I wouldn't surprise yeah. me. I know there is one. Um, have you ever watched The Walking Dead? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I forget which company it was explici- explicitly. I think it was Hyundai or maybe Honda. But, like, in the first, second, or and third season, they were sponsored by the company. I think it might have been Hyundai. But it's, yeah. like, so there's one car that they gave them, and it was, like, this green SUV that was brand new. But yeah. because it was a sponsorship, every time you saw that car, it was, like, pristine, and it was clean. And yeah. nobody was allowed to be killed in the car. So you, like, if people knew that, like, watching the show, if you ever see them in the green, like, SUV, you know that they're safe. Because the ad says... <laughs> characters cannot be killed in their car that's like the same reason why like no car companies like wanted their characters to be decepticons i mean that's fair but that kind of just works you know what i mean i like, think it does like i think i think i don't know I, ironhide died that's all i'm gonna say he like brutally died <laughs> that thing. yeah like, if they were sponsoring that vehicle he got turned to rust you yeah, know, I literally. Like, I am not buying a truck from that company. <laughs> I don't want a. G- I don't want a GMC that's going to turn into rust on me. Like, yeah, I don't want to buy a GMC that's going to turn into rust with one shot <laughs> of an alien. Gun. What the 
right <laughs> dude imagine you're driving your gmc and somebody like shoots into the side of it with like a nine millimeter and it just immediately crumples imagine around you driving my my gmc a black truck and then and then this fire truck turns into sentinel prime and shoots me my truck turns I'd be so pissed <laughs> dude <laughs> yeah that would do it that would really fuck it up that's like one of the weird things about like product placement in movies like i get that like sometimes it's kind of more egregious um especially yeah. with stuff like the like maybe like corona in fast and furious right but like other times yeah. it's like somebody is like at a desk and like the back of their monitor says sony and people are like product placement and it's like dude look at the back of your monitor you have at home it probably says sony on the back of it like product placement yeah it's everywhere this <laughs> that I'm drinking like products product placement. products you have the names of the brand on them by default like that's how every single product that we own is like that yeah. doesn't really take me out of a movie and it's kind of like it would take me more out of it if everything was like stripped bare of their well and if markings. somebody and if like and if i see like if it's like some of the movie take place in new york right yeah and i see like ads for actual companies it like it's almost real well you yeah because I mean, that's right? what fucking Times square is it's just a massive ad and i think could you mention the transformers all of their cars were like off brand you know what <laughs> yeah I mean? like the cars like, in tran- um gta yeah like the cars in gta right they look like them but they're just not that you know? Yeah, they're like they're they give them like stupid like slightly different names. Yeah, it's like instead of GMC, it's CMG. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like it's off enough that I think it'd be like okay, it's kind of breaking my immersion. You know? Yeah, like it it kind of like like that's a place where it, it feels acceptable, you know. Like you know what I like about Transformers? Huh? And I've like really thought about this. Is it like like a lot of the human plotline? I'm like oh, I could see that happening. You know what I mean? Right? Like. <laughs> Not as much. You mean like the humans like going along with, or like you t- were yeah, talking about like the like, businessman like kind of like, the, more like, like the trying to take advantage of it. Right? Yeah, know? like I can. I'm like I can see them. You know. Yeah, like the government like hiding alien. Well, hold on, is the fucking Transformers movies just going along with like the all of the Area 51 shit? I'm just realizing that like the plot of Transformers is that like the American government finds aliens in the early 19th century or 20th century and then just hides them and studies their well, technology that like, advances their like own the technology whole, that's, like the whole, that's like the whole like hoover dam thing right that they find megatron and they reverse yeah like, they reverse engineer years, it that year they have a huge explosion of tech right yeah so they like follow kind of along the same human history timeline but they they, they contribute to find well no that's an actual like conspiracy theory like people think that we've had yeah. alien technology and i'm just realizing that transformers is basically that <laughs> which is which is why it kind of like certain parts of that kind of feel real yeah you know what i mean that, I could believe the government doing shady shit. They do it all the time. Ruby Ridge, like. <laughs> <laughs> we already got. We already got. Northwood. JFK. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get <laughs> put on a list. Um, but yeah, that kind of shit. <laughs> Both are real. Oh, <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. I, I just like, and, and I think the fact that like, maybe they're not it's in disguise, right? But I think, like, they do the whole alien invasion thing kind of well. You know what I mean, right? I mean invasion? Like, the Decepticons, well, like, trying to invade, like, or... Or even, like, the way that some of them react to the Autobots, you know? Right? Yeah. That, like, the Autobots... Well, it's like, I'd be scared of an them. Autobot, just because it says it's my friend. It's a 60-foot well, truck that turned into a man that has a sword. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> like, like, the way that, the way that Sam with Wiki, like, responds when Bumblebee transforms, or just cars driving away. Yeah, you know it's like, I mean, dude, right? that's a fucking... <laughs> that's not normal. Yeah. But, you know, like, the progression of, like, in the fourth movie, then, like, mm-hmm. you kind of see that, like, some guys, like, they, like, talk about often the Autobots that are good. So there's this nice progression of you see how they've kind yeah, of... Yeah, they get, like, used to, like, to it. Being the good guys, right? Yeah. But also that the government is still wary. Like, there's still that thing, like... You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it's nice because I they don't, like... You know what I mean? It feels right? kind of, like, natural. It feels natural, but it also there's some naturalness there where like the military guys that served with him like him, but some of the government people are like, whoa, you know, like maybe yeah. if you leave, the Decepticons will leave, right? Like it's such a natural <laughs> thing that the Autobots just aren't here. By the way, the Decepticons yeah. don't leave. I don't mean to spoil. Yeah, I don't know why they, they think like they you know maybe if the guys that are helping us out leave, the terrorists will also leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like what? That's not, that's not how terrorism works. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how bad guys work like it's not you know you think if we just gave up fighting the nazis they would just stop but you know you know what i do like about megatron and maybe this is like just me uh-huh. this is more in the movies is that he feels more like 
oh, like a like a war general, yeah. Then you just feel like some sort of supervillain from like Batman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like he. Like I've he never understood his war. goals. Like, is his goal just to take over Earth? Well, I think his goal is to, like enslave Earth and rebuild Cybertron. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. If I remember correctly, mostly his his mostly his goals are like he's like wants to conquer a planet, but he just wants to rebuild Cybertron. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like rebuild his home planet. I can see that. So, I don't know why Cybertron didn't seem like it was doing very well. <laughs> that's why they want to help rebuild it, right? Because he was kind of yeah. with the whole war. I think they kind of decimated a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they ruined their own infrastructure, so they had to go ruin it for someone else. Like. Yeah, it's like what we do. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, imperialism. It's probably, Yay! It's probably it's probably what we will do. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And I don't know, like, and I think that's. One of the things is it's. I know Optimus Prime is like this supposed to be this hero, but he. Like we talked about this, how brutal he is. I don't know if we talked about it already on the podcast. We've talked about it just ourselves. Right? He's kind of a he's hero, like, but like to me, he's like. He's not a hero in the traditional like, good guys like show mercy. You know he's, what I mean? Yeah, he's a he's a soldier hero. You know, he's like kind of like what you would he's imagine like the. Like the you know. Kind like, of, but the rebels in Star you know, Wars don't I mean? eviscerate stormtroopers. They just shoot back. They did blow up the Death Star. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> there were so and many like, families on that ship. <laughs> yeah, there, and like, you know. Yeah, I think I think speaking about the rebels, a side note. I think because they're the quote unquote good guys, I think we can all ignore the fact that they probably killed innocent people that just served that had no idea what was yeah. happening. Yeah, you, know, you know. See, what the I mean? difference I think is like that whole like that moral quandary could exist in star wars but they don't do anything with it because like every time they try to humanize the empire or like the imperials and they're like oh yeah see they're soldiers they're just regular people and then you have the sith like literally just walk up and, and be like i'm gonna murder this farm boy on a random planet why because he looked at me funny and it's like okay so they're just fucking evil for the sake of being evil and it kind of like reduces that point of humanizing them you know like the well, i don't know if you've seen see- tales from the jedi it's like a yeah. little animated yeah and like right. that dude calls the Empire to tell him that a Jedi is around and the Inquisitor shows up and burns the village to the fucking ground. And it's like, dude, like, if you're gonna try and tell me that people there are people who like the Empire, make the Empire likable for like regular people. Like why are they just gonna show up and like burn everything? And, and if you wanna humanize it, do like humanize because I find the way they humanize the stormtroopers in a way that they don't understand. They don't like really believe in the Sith, or they don't understand what the Sith's goal is. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but they do it all in the books. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing it's in like, like the, the proper media that like shows that. It's like the one book that I was reading with the two kids that join the Empire, and then one of them realizes how awful it is. Yeah, yeah. I think, and then they like, blow up all the runs. Then you see the effect on everybody. Then they blow up the Death Star, and those two start fighting because like all of their friends are on the Death Star, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, and I think that humanizes them, and then it makes it like, feels weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like the same thing where. Um... What's the the flip of like the character from Battlefront Two, where it's like the Death Star blows up, which you think would make it worse, but then like she's immediately like, you know what? I know I've been a stormtrooper for years, and I'm part of this elite group, and we've probably done some fucked up shady shit, but all of a sudden I'm gonna give up and switch sides. Yeah, and it's like it just feels weird that like every time they try to humanize them, they like immediately flip, or like say like Finn in the newer movies, like. That yeah. works really well in the first movie, and then like later on, he's just murdering stormtroopers left and right. Like he yeah. doesn't even give a fuck. Like he doesn't care. Yeah, and it's it's, <laughs> it's and that's and that's why like when I look at Star Wars now, it's like I kind of remove the Jedi and the Sith from it, right? Because those are your good guys and your bad guys, and either yeah. side is fighting a war. Because you hear you, like you hear about the bad stuff the Empire's done, but you never hear about like some of the good that the that the rebels have done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like it's not. You know, like sure they free people and whatever, but it, you know. I, I think know. Star Wars is most interesting when it's not focused on like the Jedi Sith conflict. You know, like the first yeah. season of Mandalorian is really good because it takes a backdrop. Because like obviously the Empire is involved and stuff, but it's like they're not in they're interested in him because like Grogu is like related to the Jedi and stuff. But like the story yeah. between Din Djarin and Grogu is like its own thing. Yeah. I or kind of like, like that, right? that's why I liked Star Wars Survivor. I think I've I've ended up liking that one more than Jedi Fallen Order because Jedi Fallen Order is just Cal fighting the literal Empire, and it's like he yeah. should have died when he saw Vader. Like there was no, I don't know how he, he got away from that. 
And then, like, they did the smart thing, I think, of, like, Survivor has almost nothing to do with the Empire. Like, they're, they're like, still trying to run away, but it's, like, they're playing it much more low outside of, like, the very intro to the game, I guess, where he just fucking goes yeah. right to Coruscant. But... but- but I, I do think so. Kind of this, like, kind of the theme with like the whole humanizing things. I think is what Transformers suffer from, at least in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. There's no right. humanizing because the Decepticons are just evil, <laughs> and the Autobots aren't necessarily better. They just don't kill people, like yeah, people. Like, people. Like, like if if you were to remove like their morals, their moral code, and like never address them, I wouldn't know. He's a good guy to bank. <laughs> yeah. 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 If there were no humans, it would just be robots fighting. Like, there's no rhyme or reason, because we don't know anything about, like, Cybertron or, like, that kind of stuff. And it's, like, it's, like, and it's not addressing that kind of main core media, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't think Transformers is big enough for, like, you know what I mean? Like, people watch the movies, but probably wouldn't be bothered to watch the TV shit, right? Oh, definitely not. Not unless it was, like, a bigger TV show, like, on HBO or something like that, you know? Yeah. But, like, a cartoon show or anything, like, definitely not. But I think just like to establish, that's why I really want like a war on Cybertron movie, yeah, yeah, and like human like and like like give me a reason that give me a really good reason to like. See, I don't know why they haven't. I feel like a uh, what do you call it? Uh, Animated Transformers movie would do incredibly well. I think so too. Like something that was like all Cybertron focused. I mean, it is weird like, that, like, the robots from outer space do turn into, like, human cars, but, like... I can get past that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could probably I can, eventually can, get past it. I can get past that, right? Because I don't really care. It's not going to... Like, what I... Just even... Try, 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 like, yesterday, I think. Sorry, I'm, like, fumbling over my words. But, like, Transformers 4, they make that joke about, like, him having each Bumblebee, right? You know? Yeah. And I'd like, and I'd like to like that relationship between Optimus Prime and Bumblebee to be built more, at least in like the main. Media. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Because it's very much like, like it could very much be like a Batman and Robin like style thing, and it's not yeah, far off because like Optimus Prime does not give a fuck about the saint. Well, that's not the opposite of Batman, but like he doesn't care about the sanctity of life, and then Bumblebee is like kind of like you know young and spry. Exactly, and just like and like give me give me like really I understand that the Autobots follow him because he's a great leader, but show me that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? The Show only me that I think the only thing that shows that he's a good leader in the movies is the fact that he just murders everyone he comes into contact with. So it's like nobody could really challenge him for leadership. But like, but yeah. So do you like him because he's a strong leader? Or do you like him because he cares? Like, I think he, like, they're just right? scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, are they just scared? <laughs> 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 like, I'd like to think who's the other one that's like Prime, but he's not Optimus Prime. You know what I'm talking about? I think so, yeah. Uh, he looks, like, identical to him in the comic, or in the car- original cartoon, but it's, like, technically yeah. someone else. I know who you're talking it's about. It's, like, called something Prime. Omega um, Prime, I think it is. Maybe. I think it's Omega Prime. But I imagine, like, right before they left Cybertron or whatever, they were, like, everything was going bad, and, and like, that other Prime was, like, blaming it on Optimus, and he was, like, Optimus, how could you? And then Optimus just, like, turned around and immediately stabbed him through the face and was, like, anyone else have any questions? Roll yeah. out. And everybody else since then is just like, please, Optimus, don't murder me. <laughs> please, please don't kill me. Because you see it with, right. what's his name in the, is it the third movie? Where, like, the dude turns on the Autobots, like, he betrays them. And at the end of the movie, yeah. Optimus Prime literally puts him fucking down with a shotgun. Yeah, like, he, like, he, like points at the shotgun as he's, like, bagging him. But he's, like, <laughs> yeah. Optimus, don't. I was only trying to secure our home. Optimus, don't do it! Bam! Like, yeah, and he just, like, oh. <laughs> Oh, he, like, dude. he literally picks up Megatron's shotgun and it's just like bang. Yeah. You know? And then and then and then and Optimus Prime is like, what would you then Megatron's like, what would you do without B Prime? Time, time to, to find, find out. out. <laughs> dude, dude's got one arm. He's got one arm, yeah. Yeah. He just like puts an axe through his head, yeah. Yeah. And it, it there gives his moral speech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about how he's murder. better than them. <laughs> like, he didn't just murder his his old like leader or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Right? Or like his mentor? And, like, someone oh, yeah. used to be his friend, you know? Yeah, he immediately, like, without hesitation, like, <laughs> I saw someone point this out, that, like, when Optimus Prime shows up to Chicago, he's like, we will kill them all! <laughs> mm-hmm. And they just, like, start murdering, and I was, like, watching, like, these two guys talk about it, and one of them goes, like, 
Didn't the Autobot or like why are they like literally ripping them limb from limbs? I thought the Autobots were supposed to be better. And the other guy was like, no, they never said they were gonna be better. Optimus Prime said we will kill them all. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's like better than yeah they're not better at all the only like you can only consider them better in quotes because they don't kill humans so i guess like to us they're better but it's like i don't I, know you know what would have been nice up to that moment you know what i meant that made that moment where he kills megatron a lot more meaningful huh is if is, is if before that he like really tried to like reason you know what i mean like yeah. with megatron or other way with around? megatron and the decepticons you know what i mean right? yeah like he tried to fight the good fight he tried not to you know what i mean try to avoid violence but he just goes right to it yeah and he's and he like but then in that moment he like sees the destruction then megatron is late and realizes it's not worth it yeah you know what i mean do you think optimus prime is like that one guy who like actually really enjoyed his deployment like he just can't adjust to civilian life so it's like the second he gets a chance to like get into a bar fight his sword just comes right out and he just starts stabbing and seeing red because he just enjoys fighting that much I or enjoys war all like that <laughs> like the one blue guy that chose to do a helicopter yeah <laughs> yeah the, the guy who guy learns peace i think that samurai guy used to be i think in the comic movies or the old cartoons he used to be a decepticon oh okay and he like turned over but like rather than him i think they all kind of enjoy it and it's kind of off yeah <laughs> yeah like they, these are the most brutal warmongering robots across the galaxy like the autobots would be a really strong faction in like warhammer 40k you know like they would just fucking ah <laughs> uh, dude that's what i was thinking about do you think optimus prime what do you, what do you think about optimus prime versus like the the newer like king kong the newer oh dude dead <laughs> like like the new like Big King Kong and Godzilla, yeah, dude. I think I think sheer like you could they could like rip off his legs. He'd like hobble over with his arms. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like like the sheer. Like, you think it would look like the the Levi versus the Beast Titan fight from Attack on Titan yeah. season three? Like, yeah, <laughs> that is a fair point. I, I I immediately forgot about the fact that he beats the fucking robot ape, the robot King Kong. <laughs> Stand down, yeah. ape. Like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Dude, Optimus I, Prime solos, man. Like he does, he does. I think all characters that aren't just like stupidly powerful, like Doom Guy and Kratos. Like we were talking about that, like Doom Guy and Kratos. Like their power is just to be powerful. So it's yeah. like them. I can see like Kratos especially and Doom Guy probably especially. But it's like other characters like Master Chief. Like Master Chief is like powerful, but he's just a dude in a fucking suit. Like he's only so powerful, you know. See, but I, I think what makes what would make Optimus Prime, I think more interesting. I'm like I kind of talked about this, yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that is if he kind of went on an opposite of a Kratos arc, right? Where at first he was kind of this guy. He devolves. Like kill, you know what yeah. I mean, right? But then after the Battle of Chicago, he changes. You know what I mean? Right? <laughs> yeah, he just goes right to violence. Like he gives up. It's like he's cool. that's kind of like the. Um, um the walking dead rick thing right like at first he tries to like be nice and they try not to kill any people people and eventually he comes to a point where like they find a dude like spying on them and they literally they fucking nearly beat him to death and like hold him at gunpoint for several days trying to figure out what to do with him they just like don't take any chances i think of the cartoons anyways he like office prime starts as a librarian yeah you know? <laughs> like not a soldier you know what i mean yeah okay it's hard to believe it like, <laughs> i don't know i think the fact that he's so brutal i'm just picturing optimus prime in like a big robot library and then somebody on the opposite side of the library like steps on the wrong like floorboard and it creaks and optimus prime is like sitting there reading a book with like eyeglasses and he slowly takes the glasses off puts the book down and then picks up his sword and flies across the room to cut that fucking dude's head off for making noise i don't think this i don't think the sword you remember he's gonna he's got like those knuckle dusters in his hands you know? oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> he just walks up his mask goes up and he just grabs him and rips him <laughs> Yeah. yeah he just does like the doom guy rip like he puts like one hand in either side of his heart and just rips down the middle he just like he just pulls out their spark <laughs> no yeah. no noise in the library just crushes his hand <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, no, so I think and I think it would have been really interesting to see him go from like I know that he was fighting in the war yeah yeah you know I mean the war on Cybertron and all that but just see him like go from like 
all that, and he goes in this arc where he still tries to like reason, and he still tries like he catches like he keeps Decepticons captured. You know what I mean? Right? Yeah. Like he doesn't just execute them, and then after the battle of Chicago, that's when he realizes, like you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not worth the hassle. It's not worth the hassle, and then he just straight up kills Megatron because yeah. he's, throughout all of that, he tries to reason with Sentinel Prime, which I think makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And then, and then he sees that like Ironhide is dead, and some a lot of his other Autobots are dead. Yeah. And he realizes yeah. that the system that he's doing right now, like, isn't. You know what I mean? He's like kind of like what everyone is like their main complaint about Batman is. It's like if you kill them, you would just it would be like way easier. And like mm-hmm. that's his whole thing is that like he's like. I could I could keep like taking them as prisoners, but they end up just like fucking coming back and murdering more things. So even, I'm just gonna even, murder them myself. Or even that they show like the whole X Men like Professor like uh, Professor X Magneto thing, where he still believes that Mega like he can get to Megatron. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Right. But then at that moment, he realizes that it's not worth it. You know, that it's <laughs> yeah. Not going to work. It's yeah? it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. It just kills. Him. Yeah. And I think you go on that. Then you can go on that whole brutality arc, right? And then you could have it so that when he changes his armor in Transformers Four, right, so he looks more like, kind of like the knight. Yeah. Yeah. That he becomes a warrior, you know. Yeah, and definitely. Becomes brutal, right? And like, and you can just see the transition of how it gets worse and how he's and even. But you can even see it like that, like why he hides away, or why he hates humanity, because he knows how the Autobots are dying, right? Like even the humans have turned on him. You know yeah. what I mean? It's kind of like a like that old paranoid veteran that just like fucking opens fire on everyone. Yeah. But yeah, I like I don't know. <laughs> the Transformers is cool because they beat each other up, but that's about the extent of it. You know the fighting I mean? is like the most satisfying part, but like the movies outside yeah. of that, they don't really have anything. The music is fucking great because it's um, Steve Jablonski, yeah, and he's he's I don't think he makes bad music. Like the Transformers theme. Like, the arrival to Earth is so fucking good. And you could hear it. Like, I'm partial to Steve because he also did the soundtracks for Gears of War 2, 3, and Judgment. Like, that's where I knew him first. And then I remember, like, one time listening to the Transformers soundtrack. And I was like, oh, my God, this is the same fucking dude. Because it sounds remarkably the same, you know, surprisingly enough. Yeah. But, like, the music. I think the designs are mostly cool. Some of them are a bit, like, too what do you call it busy like i think a yeah. lot of them outside of like i think optimus and bumblebee are like probably the exception but like most of the autobots and decepticons especially are like super busy like it's really hard to distinguish parts of them like i look at ironhide or like hatchet ratchet and it's yeah, like ratchet. their face is like the same shape and they like they don't really have like well-defined eyes or like a nose and a mouth the versus like optimus and bumblebee they have like a really clear silhouette yeah, like you can tell that they're, you know what I mean? They have more, like, care put into the, the actual design of them. When I think it's my issue with the Decepticons, right? Because I know that they might have all looked the same in the cartoons, but they had some sort of difference, you know what well, I mean? Well, yeah, you right? got, like, ones like Soundwave that has, like, the massive, like, thing in his chest and things like that. Usually it, and, and, and in some instances, you just can't see his face. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have, like, face. That's why, like, what I mean? um... What's the Transformers Prime? Like, all yeah, it, it makes them look visually different. Like, that's part of the partly because the CG in the TV show is obviously it's a kid show. Like, it's not super complex yeah. or anything. It doesn't have, but they don't have all of the like the moving parts that just turn into a mess like they do in the movies. So, they have like a more yeah. um, designed silhouette. And like, Megatron gets to keep his arm cannon and stuff, you know? And I think his arm might, I think Megatron's arm cannon is probably one of my favorite things. Yeah. yeah. Like I Dude, think it's just I see like the Michael Bay Megatron and it just looks kinda like the Cyber Demon from Doom twenty sixteen, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. it's literally the same exact design. And I just I just I don't know. I just like when I, when I look at Megatron in the cartoons, he looks more like a dictator in my mind. <laughs> he does you know what I mean? he does kinda have like a Stalin face. Like he's got like the dictator look, but he's also got the evil dictator look, right? Where in the, yeah. in the Michael stuff, he just looks like a super villain. Yeah. 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 Like, he looks like something Hugo Strange or somebody would create in the Batman suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I can see that. Who is the other? Who is, what is the planet, right? Is it Omicron? Omnitron? Unicron. Unicron? Isn't there an, yeah. an Omni one, too? Yeah, there's, there's Omnicron and Unicron. I think Unicron is the bad one and Omnicron is the good one. So oh, I, I think so there's if two I remember, planets. If I remember correctly, Unicron is Earth and 
Om in like Unicronus, I think <laughs> they like tried to trap Unicron in something, and he became a planet. And Omnicron is Cybertron. Yeah. Okay. Do they transform into just massive people? Uh, <laughs> in some in some cases, yes. <laughs> in other cases, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you tell me the plot of Marvel's Eternals is just a Transformers movie in disguise. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> With yeah. a massive body, like, emerging from the Earth. <laughs> you know, I'd actually yeah. really kill to see that. Like, I hope the next, like, I hope Michael Bay gets to make another Transformers movie, and it just starts with, like, the Earth, like, folding in on itself. <laughs> you know? Well, I think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. You want to bring him down here? He's outside. Oh, okay. Is anybody out there with him? Well... So Ben's doing his thing. Anyways, but yeah, Transformers are fucking wacky. If anyone, if you're listening to this, just to like whack up participation while also filling the time because I don't know what's happening. Um, in the comments below, if you're listening to this, if you're listening this far, Spyro, um, <laughs> go ahead. I want to hear who anyone li- listening to this might think that Optimus Prime would fucking kick ass in against like a single character or like a universe. Like if you plop him down in a universe... Which is one that you think he would do really well in? Um, like, I think the I think immediately I think most of like the superhero universes he could wipe. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think he could take like specific heroes, but it's like you ha- immediately you have characters like um, uh, Superman and Hulk, and it's like no. I don't know, but. See, I, I think his robotic also, nature maybe. makes him like inherently open to being like ripped apart, you know. Yeah, but also the fact that like as long as they have their well, no, no, because he has the um, the arc, the arc thing, yeah, that keeps him alive. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, can they regenerate? So arc. Uh, well, I think he can later on in the movies. Yeah, but as long as he's got like the the spark thing, Charlie. They have, like, their spark in their heart that keeps them going. Yeah. I guess. So does he eventually just become Robot Wolverine? Uh, sort of. <laughs> I imagine, like, <laughs> you know, like, Wolverine, like, there's that one comic where he gets destroyed down to everything except for, like, a single drop of blood. And, like, from that yeah. one drop of blood, he, like, regenerates back into himself. I imagine... Uh, Optimus Prime would just get like fucking disintegrated down into like one of those little flaps on the side of his head and then from that flap he would just build out into another Optimus Prime well he doesn't regenerate like it's nanites yeah yeah like it's almost like his parts are like magnets you know what I mean oh like the iron giant yeah like he like he mag like he magnet magnetically that's fair like pulls himself back together Here's one. Do you think he would beat um, Zavala? Which one is that again? Uh, Lance Reddick, um, Titan Vanguard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? You don't I, think the I, Destiny I, magic it would be good enough for that? Um, I mean, I think maybe he'd have a chance, yeah. Fair. But also, he like... Zavala pops one alt, and then he's got to, you know, wait. <laughs> he's got to uh, wait 10 minutes for it to recharge. He's got to wait 10 minutes <laughs> to recharge, right? Yeah. Optimus has at least 30 minutes of screen time fighting left, so. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's fair. Like, he's still got. I forget that the Guardians aren't actually all that strong. Um... <laughs> well, I think I think the issue is, right, yeah, you know, you know what my biggest issue is? Yeah. Transformers is you know that the, the Traveler would bless, would bless Prime, right? <laughs> like, it would just turn him know. into a guardian. <laughs> you know that, that he would come down to the Traveler would give him a ghost. Yeah? Like, yeah. you can't tell me you would. You can't tell me, oh. yeah? No, I, no, I believe it. <laughs> I don't know, something about, like... <laughs> The mental image of like them being in the middle of a fight, and then you know you get like Ladies Man One Two Seven cowering behind some rocks, right? And like Bumblebee fighting a Decepticon, and he's going Bumblebee, and then from the background, all you hear is "I will kill you!" And the Optimus Prime comes thunder crashing through the middle of a New York street and fucking <laughs> flies through the middle of Decepticon, you know? Bumblebee <laughs> 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 get like the fucking like Golden Gun or whatever it's called. Like he, he totally have the hunter. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, definitely. Because like, he's like, he's like so like f- flying around. Mm-hmm. Dude, I can totally picture that. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> be like everybody in my bubble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, who like, be he a... summons this fire hammer, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. You can't tell me that the Autobots would be blessed. With the like, you can't, because that because. He'd show up. Yeah. I want. Show I up. want a Destiny Fire team comprised of Autobots so bad now. <laughs> Dude, I just want to watch the Autobots do. I just want to watch the Autobots do Vault and Blast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> instead, of, instead of doing the puzzles, they just walk up and just blow a hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what it's called. Remember when I was trying to talk about like his core thing, right? That keeps him alive. Yes, yeah, Allspark. He's got the mate. He's got you know he's got the Matrix the leadership. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I'm agreeing but with yeah. you, but I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. But yeah, <laughs> I get the big notes. It's like the yeah. I haven't watched the last one. I've seen clips from it. I do really no, 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 like he, that. He gets the Matrix. He gets the Matrix in number two. Yeah. Same with Sam. Oh, like, the knife. Matrix from like the old primes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, that's, and that's if you remember Transformers three, that that's how we revive Sentinels. He, he's used the Matrix. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, that's what that is. But yeah, you can't tell me that. <laughs> the Dude, now I'm, now I'm trying players. to think, like, what would be the best characters in, like, something to give, like, Destiny powers? Or, like, to see them, like, go on a Destiny raid, you know? Like, which which group of characters from any, like, thing do you think would, like, be really good at that? Kratos, Doomslayer, Master Chief. Optimus no, but, like, Prime. characters that are, like, as a group, like, to begin with, you know? Like, Optimus and Bumblebee um, and whoever, right? Like The X-Men. <laughs> do you think oh dude that'd be so great like the is it x2 or x3 where they're doing like the training program and wolverine's like throw me <laughs> yeah it's like this x-men i think it's the third one. yeah ah oh, seeing shit like that that'd be so fun in i wish more games would embrace like games that are real fucking stupid like destiny like now that destiny has started doing crossovers with like uh, God of War and Assassin's Creed and stuff like that, you know? Like, I want to see more games just kind of embrace that. Like, if we're going to do that, like, fucking do it. Like, I prefer stuff like that. Like, the way Destiny does it is, like, they're very clearly inspired and you can get what they're going for, but it's not like a one to one, you know? Yeah. I kind of like that. I like that idea. Like, there was some stuff floating around when Gears of War 4 was big where, like, somebody had photoshopped this thing that was like halfway between a, a gears of war soldier and like a spartan from halo yeah and like that's a really cool idea but in gears 5 we just got like emil and cat from reach and it's like okay yeah. cool but like that kind of like takes me out of it yeah but i'd love to see games like like destiny and like those kind of games where it's like it doesn't take itself seriously at all like to see yeah. like kind of like the way Fortnite does it like Fortnite that's the one thing I'll give them the fact that you can have like A- Ariana Grande and Optimus Prime and Doom Guy and Geralt from The Witcher like get into a group together and kick the shit out yeah. of Kratos is like so yeah. fucking hilarious to me like you could pick any random number of people from media and they will probably be in Fortnite and it's yeah, fucking great at some point yeah if not already eventually like you got fucking like, yeah, like Goku like, and like Anakin Skywalker duos. and I like I can play a match of duos with Optimus Prime and Ariana Grande. I think that's <laughs> Dude, that is unironically. Oh man, I wonder who would be a really good duo partner for Optimus. I feel like it's got to be like someone that's like smaller and more mobile, you know? Batman. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Batman and Optimus wouldn't get together really well though. They wouldn't get along cuz Optimus would just murder everyone that he runs into. Batman doesn't get along with anybody. That's really also true. <laughs> I don't think he. I don't think Batman gets along with other versions of Batman, does he? I, I, I probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I just I, I just picture Optimus Prime like just summoning a bubble. Yeah. Just doing fucking like a raid, you know? <laughs> yeah. Puts in a raid banner. <laughs> Autobots, super up. He's got his own, he's got his own fire team. <laughs> he's got his he's got he's got his own he's got his own destiny client <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean i imagine optimus taking the role like you know like shacks or something you know like he would just yeah. be there to like constantly like talk shit in your ear be like <laughs> i was missing an arm and i killed the leader of the decepticons what are you doing <laughs> he walks and he's like bumblebee ratchet it's time for trials of osiris <laughs> dude optimus prime in like 
various things is just so fucking good. <laughs> because it just makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> just like oh. the the mental image, the end of God of War twenty eighteen when Baldur is like trying to kill Freya, and Optimus Prime just walks up from behind and like in his massive hand just picks up Baldur and crushes him, and just goes, yeah. "We must be better." Crush. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like walking off. Kratos <laughs> <laughs> is sitting there, like looking at it. We must be better. And Optimus Prime looks at him. We must kill them all. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> <laughs> like the <laughs> I don't know why, but I imagine like the the opening of Ragnarok when Thor shows up and Kratos is like, "Who are you?" And there's just Optimus Prime in truck mode, just parked right outside the house. <laughs> yeah, and as Two like. Minute- <laughs> as like Thor shows up, Kratos is like trying to talk to him, and he like is like letting him in, and then Optimus just transforms and just fucking stabs him through the back. <laughs> Trace and Bumblebee are talking, and Trace is like, "Yeah, my dad's a bit of a dick." And Bumblebee's like, "I love my dad." As Optimus Prime <laughs> comes out, just like kills like five people. Dude, that fucking wow. audio! I love my dad. Like that that audio is so perfect, for Bumblebee. Dude, I love it. I love my fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> I love my fucking dad. It just, it just cuts immediately to Optimus Prime like ripping someone's throat out. <laughs> Dude, Optimus Prime is fucking brutal. I love it so much for that. <laughs> Dude, he's so good, right? He has like, these heartwarming conversations with humans. Right? Yeah. yeah. And he's like, he's, he's talking to like Mark Wahlberg. And he's like, you know, I had a problem with Bumblebee too. Right? And you cut to a scene of him and Bumblebee just like fucking brutally killing people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm, I think that really. It's like the. Like, you know, the. <laughs> the music video, like the Chalk Teeter song with like Isabel from fucking Animal Crossing <laughs> and <Yeah>. Doom Guy. <laughs> like, that's yeah. how, like. <laughs> that's how it is with Optimus and Bumblebee. It's like they're talking about it and they're like, oh yeah, we, like, you know, we, we take care and we respect each other. And we've lived together a long time. We're like, you know, he's like a son to me. And then it cuts and they're just like ripping people like literally limb from limb, like ripping their eyes out their sockets and like fucking plunging swords into their chests. Like it's just the most brutal shit you can imagine. (laughs) For real. Yeah, I, dude, I love that so much. (laughs) Oh, Oh, dude. Um, that's another thing I was going to bring up. Do you, you know, like, Bumblebee's, um, how they changed him to where he, like, speaks through radio? Yeah. I was going to ask what you think about that, because I think, out of all of the changes that, like, the Michael Bayverse made to the Transformers, that is, like, one of my favorite ones, because it's, like, it gives Bumblebee this kind of, like, unique identity. Yeah, no, and I think it does, and I think it really, because he's always kind of lost his vocal cords, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's been, like, a common... So I'm trying to figure out what Senna is. Well, I think it's also, like, perfect. Like, the fact that they are... Like, it integrates the car part of them into, like, his character. You know? Yeah, no, and... I, yeah. And I think it just adds a specific kind of character to it. And I really yeah. Love that. I love, like, as well, the fact that, like, Bumblebee is, like, very much, like, the Deadpool kind of, like, always talking. Like, doesn't shut the fuck up character. And is, like, yeah. always kind of, like, throwing a fit. But it's, like, the fact that he can't talk and he has to talk through radio. Like, that scene in <laughs> uh, Transformers 4 where they go to, like, the show floor and they're like, here's the the fake Bumblebee we made. Yeah. It's better in every way. Yeah. And Bumblebee just, like, starts playing, like, radio clips of motherfuck- like guys going, like, this stupid motherfucking piece of shit. <laughs> he starts yeah, getting angry. Did you get better than me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, it's perfect. <laughs> like, like, dude, I, it's so, it's, it's. Yeah, I would imagine if they did do a raid, all of Bumblebee's radio clips would just be like Cade talking. You know, like it would just be like clips he, of various like other guardians saying shit. He'd be, he'd be like, he'd be like at like the he'd be at the final boss of Log, right? Yeah, yeah. His name it, and he'd be sitting there like pushing around like, what the fuck you gonna do? Huh? You think you're better than me? <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> dude, I can just picture the Autobots trying to make callouts. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing the is vault of glass the one where you gotta count like the ciphers or whatever as they go yeah, around like, in like a ring big, like, crystals. like yeah you know, like the crystals pop up and you got and everybody's gonna call them out so they shoot them in the right order yeah bumblebee i have one three and seven <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's that one stealth section you remember it instead of like sneaking they just turn into cars and drive <laughs> They, they don't drive fast. They like go at like a snail's pace, just going real slowly across. 
<laughs> but you can hear their engines like they can't be quiet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or they're like Transformers form, and they're like trying to hide behind a rock, but it's not working. <laughs> Dude, that's my that's like the funnest shit. In like the first, I don't know if it's the first movie, or the second movie. I think it's just the first where like they're hiding from like Ladies Man One Two Seven's parents, and like Bumblebee is like or Optimus is like right up against the fucking house, <laughs> like they're not gonna see the forty foot tall robot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Autobots are so fucking like fun, man. Like they're not, <laughs> they're not complex, and they don't have to be because they're just so fucking fun, like as characters. Yeah, it's just <sighs> a fun concept. They're like so fun and goofy, and like if you look at it from that point, like I love getting older for the fact that like I remember when I was younger and I was like, uh, I would hear people go like, yeah, these movies are like stupid. There's no point to them, and I'm like, I would be like, yeah, they're stupid. There's no point to them, and like not even like bothering to watch them. Because you just, yeah. like, as a kid, you, like, hear things, and you're like, yeah. And you just, like, take it as truth. And then, like, yeah. recently, like, uh, me and my girlfriend, like, we watched Transformers 4 and then, like, the Michael Bay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back-to-back. And I had yeah. so much fun because they're both just, like, so fucking stupid. And because they, and they have, like, the same energy somehow, right? <laughs> they like, do. <laughs> I love that, like, TMNT was not afraid to, like, be goofy because, like, you know, they're fucking six-foot-tall turtles. And I kind of don't yeah. mind the designs. But like, like even to the fact that like the very end of the <laughs> the movie when they think like Splinter is like dying or whatever, and he's like, "Mikey, come here," <laughs> and he like leans in and he's like, "What, Mister Splinter?" And he's like, he like whispers to him and like <laughs> Mikey like pulls up and he's like, "They're like, what do you say?" And he's like, "He said, get your knee off my chest." <laughs> like it just and it like, just it, it fits with yeah with the app. like it it it. it yeah, really? it works. Like, when they, like, start fucking okay. beatboxing in the elevator and shit like that, like, it just... No, exactly. <laughs> dude, I when actually... They see Shredder and they're like, oh, shit, you know? Yeah, like, dude, I, I, little... I don't know what the fuck cartoon it's from. I know it's from one of the cartoons, but I keep hearing that audio on TikTok where it's, like, the Ninja Turtles, like, Shredder walks in with a box of pizza or something. Yeah. I, and, like, the Ninja Turtles like, it's Shredder, and Shredder turns around and goes, where?! <laughs> <laughs> and the way he says it just the where it gets me every fucking time <laughs> dude i love the ninja turtles because they're like they're like a fun concept yeah right because they play the whole like they're teenagers and their relation thing you know what i mean like they yeah. do it really well yeah yeah like they're like you know? goofy and like they're allowed to be goofy they're kind of like also- i think ninja turtles is like the original ninjago <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it's the same vibes. And it's just like, it's so fun. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Oh, man. But yeah. Sorry, is it I wonder. Windy right now? Yeah, it's very windy. Sorry. I can hear the wind, bro. It's like you're in Canada. Go back down. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm in, the windy, I'm in a windy province. You want to go inside? <laughs> I love these tangents in the podcast where Ben is just like talking to his actual fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah um <laughs> i wonder how the team and t would do actually no i know how they would do in like a raid because like <laughs> see like in a raid it would be like you would have like raf would be like the guy who's like getting angry that nobody else is like taking it as seriously as he is yeah. Yeah. you'd have like leonardo like actually trying and then you'd have like donatello being focused like he's like the guy afk in the back because he's trying to make like the perfect build for the raid like he's, he's min maxing all his gear, video. yeah. And then <laughs> and then Michelangelo is like the dude that just like kind of like just fucks around on the map, like I do, <laughs> and is like constantly like just dying because yeah. he's just have trying to have fun with it. Or like Mikey's probably yeah. like that one, the one fucking warlock that like picks up a sword and like just spends the entire time trying to knock people off the ledge. <laughs> Me when I play Destiny, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I really want Transformers and Destiny now. I want, dude. I really hope that Transformers game is good, like the one that Splash Damage is making. I mean that you know, that, I was, huh? I was thinking about this, yeah, and maybe I'm wrong, but I really want Rocksteady to do more superhero or like fiction games like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are they working like, on I now? Because like, what was their Arkham Knights is their last recent thing, huh? I think so, but I think just like. I think you could make a really fun Transformers game out of that. You yeah. know what I mean? I like the whole like like the combat system? Like maybe like yeah, like the combat system, I think. I would rather you know? see something more um what do you call it? precise like for honor 
like a more precise I, combat system like that i think would work better I, for transformers i think i yeah i think i think it's more that's one of the things that I wish Dude. there was like a single player open world game kind of like the witcher that used for honor's combat system yeah dude for honor has such good combat and it's it would be so applicable in so many games but they get they gave us this random shitty uh, knights and vikings and samurai bullshit instead see this is my hot take about the witcher yeah yeah i would really i like the games right yeah but i would really love them if they had like a combat better system combat. kind of a kind of for honor right yeah the combat is like probably my... the weakest, one of the weaker yeah. parts of The Witcher Three. I think, just like slash dodge heal, slash you know to hit dodge heal, hit dodge heal. Yeah, right. You know, like I just I don't know. I feel like you're right though. I but you want to know why I think the but the Arkham combat will work really well for Transformers? Huh? Because I think I mean yeah, like as a newer player, <laughs> I've got one of my friends playing. <laughs> what did, what do you do? Like you know, like in Arkham Hunt, they like fluff it. Where if like you're fighting two dudes and they're like twenty feet fr- across from each other, Batman just does like a massive like power jump between the two. Yeah, yeah he just like jumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i imagine you're doing that as optimus and he like punches one and then he immediately turns into truck drives to the other turns back and punches the other and then turns into a truck and drives to the other and transforms and then punches him and just does that back and forth like turning back and out of out of truck mode <laughs> <laughs> but so i think as a new like one so one of my friends just picked up the art like arkham knight right yeah so i really told her to play it because i just like for a game that came out 2015 2016 right but when it came out yeah, it came in right 2015, in yeah. And just, like, I just said, it looks really pretty. She thinks it's really pretty, right? But yeah. I, I think one of the things I try to tell her is, like, don't just button mash, because you've got other tools in your arsenal. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, like, what like, the whole combo the, system is about. And just, But just even the fact that, like, you can use your grappling gun mid-fighter, you can throw a freeze grenade, you can do, like, a claim on Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Like, there's more than just using your fists and parrying. You just kind of have to get used to it. Yeah. You know? And I think that's what I mean by, like... Like the Transformers combat system, like that, that then you could use like guns and shit, right? You know. Yeah, it would be kind of like um, I could see it almost like a mixture of like um Arkham and like the Jedi Survivor, because like Survivor is like that too, where you got like your parries and everything, but then you also have like the blaster and the force abilities on offhand as well. Yeah, and like that all works really well in tandem. And I think you just be really versatile with it, and I think they kind of date like I don't really like they're. As of playing the game, I really hate the fucking tank shit, especially if I'm back playing on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you know, that would work so well, too, because, like, is it Transformers yeah. 3, where Bumblebee literally does that exact same shit, where he turns into, like, an omnidirectional tank? Yeah. Like, that literally I transforms so, yeah. from car mode. Like, in car mode, he transforms into tank mode, like, exactly as the thing yeah. from Arkham like, Knight does. Like, he's got weapons, and I think that's why, it, like, I think the game like that would just really work, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think what it is. I also I know... think just Rocksteady makes really pretty games, like good looking, right? Yeah, I, I can't speak you to know? Gotham Knights. I thought that one was locked at thirty. Uh, I'm not looking even looking at frame rate. Yeah, I'm just looking at like the style that they use. Gotham Knights is a shit game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Like I'm really disappointed in Gotham Knights. Yeah. Um. Like, I, I feel like they were trying to go for the, oh, you can replay it four times because you've got four different characters. And I'm like, no, not really. It's all kind of the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's... <laughs> I think they I would rather that have one... That exist, right? I would rather have a, like, an offshoot Batman game about one of the Bat family and not all of them, you know? Yeah. Like, funnily enough, I had more fun playing the, like, the DLC side missions in Arkham Knight, yeah, than all of Gotham Knights. Yeah. You know? Because it's all designed well and under like Batman's like same umbrella. Yeah. But like the the new game Transformers Reactivate, which is supposed to be coming sometime next year, um, is I think we've talked about this. I don't know if we've talked about it on the podcast. Is by Splash Damage, who are the guys that made Gears of War Tactics and they worked on Gears of War four and five, partially. Um so Transformers Reactivate is like a, I think it's a four-player co-op third-person shooter. So basically just like Gears yeah. of War. I don't think it'll be like the same cover system and everything, obviously, but... Hopefully not. Gears of War 4 and 5 run ridiculously well. And I am assume they are probably still using Unreal Engine. Which means that that game will also look fucking good. Yeah. My biggest I mean, problem is that like I want to see gameplay from it. And like it still has the human bullshit going on. I like maybe this is just me. 
right? Huh. But I'm really tired of these. Like, I get excited for these games, like Transformers. Yeah. Right? I'm like, fuck their multiplayer. You know? <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, like, I think I it's just, less. I don't know. I don't know if it's like multiplayer multiplayer but it's like co-op multiplayer so it's like okay it's you can play a single player but you can have okay. up to four players okay. like gears of war is you know yeah that's the vibe i'm getting from it's supposed to be a third person shooter so that'd be fun to see how that works out that one now that i've like gotten i've gotten more to transformers in like the last like few months or whatever and it's like when i saw that trailer for the first time i think it was at the game awards or something like somewhere yeah. at the start of the year or late, at the late last year, I was like, I mean, I guess, but it's also the trailer didn't show anything. Like it's yeah. just a logo, basically. Like it wasn't very intriguing. But yeah, but like after watching all of these and watching Optimus Prime, like go savage, like I dude, I want, I kind of like want to play a Transformers game. I remember the like movie tie-in that they made. I'd play yeah, the demo for good. it on the 360 all the time, but I never like played the full game. I wonder if I look yeah, it up if I'll, I'll find it on like the Xbox store. I Yeah. I don't know. I just It's like it's hard. I don't know. It's weird how like for some reason I mean, it's not it's less common than the other way around. Like it's really hard to take a video game and turn it into a movie, right? But then you yeah. have like people for some reason also struggled to turn a movie into a game which i feel like for stuff especially like transformers should be astoundingly easy to do yeah i think i think you know what i wonder if some of the issues is though huh is that like material you know what i mean like star wars should be easy enough because you have plenty of material whether you're using the eu or the main can right yeah Same thing in kind of the superior genre i still don't know how marvel fucked up with that avengers game yeah. Yeah, but it's stuff like that. Like, like, um, superhero like should be Galaxy, fucking easy right? to make a. Guardians of the Galaxy was fucking great, well, and I then think it's it was like, really good, right? Yeah. How do you fuck up a superhero game when like the formula has been out there? Like, dude, Arkham has been killing it for a decade now, over a decade. Yeah. Like, Spider Man killed it. Spider Man came out before Avengers, didn't it? Uh, I think so. Didn't Avengers come out like 2019, 2020? But I, but I also understand that I think the difficulties with with something like the Avengers is is how do you make a game like spider-man and batman because then then you, i feel like then you're gonna suffer like the arkham knights did right you're trying to focus on too many characters in an open world game you know what i mean kind of yeah that makes sense like you can't do an open world like that like like if they want to do an open world like transformers thing they'd have to, I'd, I'd hope that they'd pick a specific transformer or you'd like be your own you know what i mean yeah i could see that or i could almost see like a yeah I'd, i wouldn't mind a game that's like all about bumblebee or, you know, like you could have yeah, multiple right. Transformers, but it would have to be, they would have to probably be more or less the same. Kind of like Heroes and For Honor, like, you know, like they do different things and they work differently, but they're all using the fra- the same framework. Well, they could, but if they wanted to do a game that was just about Bumblebee, they could do it the way that Arkham does it. That at some point you have like people helping you and you can switch between them. Right? Yeah. Like the Nightwing Dude, and Dude, Bumblebee right? and Optimus Prime combos would go so hard. So they would, right? And then, <laughs> then you have like the air challenge if you want to, where you can just play as off his front. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right? And I and I think but I think because when you try to focus on so many you have so many playable characters in a game, it almost takes away. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, God, please. <laughs> One of the things that I really hated about like the Avengers game is that the fucking armor shit that they do. Yeah. They have armor? Like well, they, they, you can, like, switch out these armor things, right, that, like, make you character better or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And I, I hate that. I I hate that with a <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so fucking stupid. What? So I've looked it up. There are Transformers games, but the most of them are not even available in the Xbox store. Outside yeah. of, like, the old, whatever, the Transformers, the more cartoony one. I know I've heard people yeah. say that one's really good, but damn, I also shame. think that I think that Transformers and even like Marvel games for a bit there, there were some good ones that I really liked. Yeah, but I find that like Batman suffered this until Arkham Asylum, right, where they didn't have a good formula. You know. Yeah. Right. And I think once they get that formula down, you know, I just don't. I just get really tired of third-person shooters. 
you know, or first person shooters. Yeah. Right. For first like, person shooter, you know, for me to be good, like it's got to be like I can't do. I have a harder time first person shooters like Destiny, where it's like it feels really weird for me to play a shooter where it takes like an hour to kill an enemy by shooting them. Like it's got to be something like yeah. Call of Duty or Titanfall, where I can like kind of chew through enemies, and then I also have like the movement to like play around. Yeah, and I think Destiny, you really see that in Destiny when you get to the higher level shit. Right? Yeah. Like at a lower level, once you kind of figured out, you sort of chew through enemies. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at a higher level, you don't. I just... I guess for me, I'm just tired of third-person shooters with, like, just... I just feel like if games would adapt more... Even, like, The Witcher, like that, or, like, Arkhamist, like the Arkham game for the Spider-Man ones. Like, I think those are the most fun that I've ever had, and that's just me personally. Right? Yeah. Because I feel like... I Well, well, they kind of follow the same... Well, I mean, each game is going to obviously follow something. Right? Yeah, and, like, fall in a category. Like, Spider-Man and Batman kind of operate the same. You know what yeah. I mean? But it just... I feel like with, with a combat system like that, you can add a lot more detail, you know? Well, I think they also have, like, their own unique spins to it. Like, say, like, Batman is very much a lot of, like, quick ambushes. Like, you're setting up ambushes. Like, you go to Predator, yeah. and then you, like, come down and you beat someone's ass, and then you go back yeah. up, or you go into a vent. Versus, like, Spider-Man is a lot of, like... It's in and out of like that, but it's less so, like, setting up and, like, pr- uh, prowling, and more so, like, you'll kick a dude up, and then swing around to the other side of the battlefield and like hop down on someone else. Yeah. Like it's about like exactly. staying mobile, but it plays it just, differently than Batman, you know. It but it plays differently, and I feel like transfer. You can do something like with Transformers, yeah. Right, and I feel like it just adds more character. It adds more like design and like detail to the characters now they fight, right? Rather than just let you shoot and sometimes we're gonna have a melee. You know what I mean? Or like special yeah. abilities, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I get that. It just like the variety of it would bring it up. Yeah, I think that's dude, that's right. one. I, I was trying to I think just... of another example of it. The only other thing I can think of, I'm still on Optimus Prime appearing in Mortal Kombat uh, <laughs> from the yeah. knee down. <laughs> the yeah. only other but... thing, like the only game I could think of that kind of does that, because Mortal Kombat doesn't have any big characters. You know, like they're all like, I guess Goro is tall, but like he fits in the frame. Yeah, but then you like, have like, like, I was thinking about um, Killer Instinct, which has like tall characters, like massive characters, and they like take up the entire frame versus like their smallest characters. Like they have um, Rom from fucking Gears of War. If you don't know, he's like ten fucking feet tall versus yeah. like it's just a regular dude. And it's like I'd re- I'd love to see, if not just like give the Transformers their own fighting game. You know, I'd actually I think that would be a lot of fun. Because then, like, the movies, you could do fatalities, and it would still be PG-13, you know, or, like, T for teen. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I just, I guess I just want something different that's not a third-person or first-person shooter, right? Yeah. Because it feels like that's all I ever play. I mean, I'm interested to see what it looks like. Oh, I am too, right? I, I I wonder how, as far as, like transformers it's gonna be you know like yeah if they're transformers like um what do you call it what do you what do you do about them transforming that like you know makes them feel like transformers you know because that's like that's like the most important you know what i mean yeah it's like they have to feel like transformers like that's the biggest failure of the movies i think is like they're not they only ever transform when they're going somewhere like it's there's no other reason for it like when they're running away yeah but yeah i don't um, know i just sorry just give me a minute just looking at something <laughs> but no <laughs> you're good um i just i'm not excited about that like i am but i'm not right it just it I, feels like i'm kind of like on and off about it i think i'm i i'll i'll make up my mind more when we actually see like what yeah. it looks like like, that's yeah. the same thing, like, Space Marine. Like, they said they were making Space Marine 2, and I was like, uh, okay, I guess. But, like, the first one was just, like, a third-person shooter. And then I, like, keep seeing more and more gameplay of it, and I'm like, dude, this game looks like it's going to be a lot of fucking fun. Yeah. Like, I want to buy... Really dude, well, I want to buy the collector's edition just for that fucking bust of the general. Like, it's so fucking cool. Like, one of the things that I like about Doom is it doesn't always, like, it just... It's more... To me, it feels like it's more than a third-person shooter. Yeah, right? you know because I mean? it's, like, an arena shooter, and it's, person, like... Yeah. 
Yeah, it's an arena shooter, like plus it. it's got like a little, little bit of platforming and exploring and stuff like that too, you know? And even like the melee kills, right? Yeah. You know? Like even that is like, there's some satisfying satisfaction that it's not just you punch. Like it. shooting yeah. is only like a fourth of the combat in that game, you know? Like yeah. it's it's shooting, your mobility, your resource management, and your like understanding of the enemies because each enemy has like a specific weakness that you have to like play on, yeah. you know? Like, it makes it more interesting than just shooting. That's, like, why I love Titanfall so much. It's, like, Titanfall, you just don't, you don't, like, get behind cover and, like, shoot at somebody like you do in Siege or COD. Like, you're fucking running, jumping, yeah. climbing, and everything around the battlefield. Yeah. I just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I just, I think. Hey, man, I, think, I still got Anthem yeah. installed, so, like. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I'm, I'm going to make my, I'm going to make my Anthem bot look like Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I just really want a Transformers game now. I do too. I just, I think I want a Transformers game that functions like the Arkham. Game. Yeah. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Spider-Man. I think, and I think that's just you know whatever you can disagree if you want, but I think it'd be really fun. I think I just want, I don't want an abundance of games like that because I feel like if you ever do it, if it's a Transformers game, would you want it to be open world? Yeah. Okay. I guess that would make sense because you have like the fucking turning into cars and shit. Like it would not make sense for think, unless they just never turned into cars. Yeah, I think like arena shit, like you know, kind of like how Gears is a little bit right. It has like levels, like linear. Yeah, Gears is you, you walk into a room of like convenient waist high cover, you take cover and you shoot at things until they die, and then you move on. And it's been like that since two thousand six. Like people I, tell I just, me, I still have people. There was somebody on my like. Uh, Gears of War video I put out last week who was like, Gears 4 and 5 were so forgettable and I'm like, dude they, they do the exact same shit as the first games like, what's so forgettable about them? Like, yeah, the atmosphere and the writing is like different and whatever, but like gameplay wise, they're identical like, Gears 5 is the only one that does anything different like, yeah, but all of the rest of them do the same shit like, it's, they've been doing the, the same formula for over, almost two decades now. I just think there's just so more to Transformers than just shooting you know yeah. what I mean? Like, how much, honestly, like, let's look at, like, like, even Optimus Prime, right? You know, like, he's not just he's walking with a gun every five minutes, you know? <laughs> he only like, He only uses a gun when he's executing someone, so. <laughs> and I mean, and I mean, like, even Bumblebee to certain degrees, right, and all of them, you know? Yeah. Right? They're, like, kind of, like, like brawlers. Could... Like, they kind of just use whatever's on hand. Exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think, and I think that's why I prefer, like, even if it was a game that's just focused on Optimus Prime. Right? Yeah. Like Honestly, actually, game. I that's think like in, the Arkham Knight, that's a game about Spider-Man. Optimus Prime would work better, not as like the Arkham gameplay, but like the God of War gameplay, you know? Like with like the. I think so too, yeah. Even something akin to that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like switching between like different weapons modes and then like having your parry button and then having like your attacks and stuff. Exactly, right? And I think that would just, you know, and then you can be so cool. Thing where, you can, where you can change it Optimus is kind of like his look, you know, if yeah. you really wanted to. Right, yeah, and you can change it because like, he uses like swords and he uses like a battle axe to use like multiple yeah. things. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, there's a lot of variation there, and you can even come up there's with more shit. There to you. Yeah, and I think you just there, there's so much more creativity with with it with someone like Arkham Knight or Spider Man or God of War, right? Yeah, or just, even like, if you go even further with it, like you said, yeah. like just make your own Autobot that has like so many more options. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Like, and yeah, make your own Autobot that you could change it up, right? You could have it so maybe he does like stuff where he hovers, or he's more like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like scan different vehicles, whatever. You know. And I just I feel like there's so much more customization with that. There's just so much more uniqueness to that, right? Well, it's like you have like look at the different like Titans and Titanfall, right? You have the Titan that has like the fucking sword and the shotgun, and then you have like the one with the minigun, and then you have like the one with the flamethrower, and like there's so much variation just there. Like imagine if it was all about Titans. And I mean, you could make, you could make, like, you could do, you just even have to be an Autobot. You could kind of do your own, choose your own shit. You know what I mean? If you really yeah. wanted to go that far. Yeah. You know? Can I make my, can I make my robot a planet? <laughs> 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 Every cutscene, you're just, like, end- too big for the camera. So it's just, like, all black. The, the, the end game is you just scan the planet. You just become that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I- I like honestly just feel like there would be a Do you lot think it has to be people. like how does that work? Like if Bumblebee scams scans a semi truck, does he scale up to the size of a truck or does he just turn into a smaller uh, truck? <laughs> I, I'd imagine that. I see that's like weird. Because that's a weird thing to think about that is just their armor changes or did like 
Do they, you know what I mean? Does their physiology change? Do their like their yeah. size change because like, or do they have to like pick a robot like their size? I don't know. That's a good question. Because there is also like the dude, um, the Devastator in number two, who's like, he's a big ass robot, but he takes like five different vehicles. Well, and there's and there's been other stuff like that. I think there's like a, the mini like mini stuff like the mini cons or whatever. Yeah. Right? They're like combined in a way. Does that mean like if Bumblebee wanted to turn into like a bigger vehicle, he would have to do like Optimus where he's got like the or not like the opposite way. Like if Optimus wanted to turn into a car, he'd have to turn into like two cars. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I feel like because they're mechanical, they have this ability to like shift down and change, you know what I mean? But also like it's shown that Optimus Prime just can't she can't turn into a jet. You know what I mean? Right? He physically because cannot. Well, no, because well, well, then if he could, then why the hell would he just he just because like, in the third one, I think in the fourth one or whatever, he gets like jet. No, the second and the third one, he just has jetpack parts that give him that give yeah. him flying powers, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so there's something keeping him from like copying the motions of a jet engine, like Starscream. I think it just I think it's just physiology, right? Yeah. Maybe. I think it's like I think it's like different classes. You know what I mean, right? Then Bumblebee's meant to be more agile, which is why he can't transform into anything bigger. Where Ratchet can not Ratchet, where Ironhide can turn into a truck, but he's meant to be more of like a tank kind of thing. You yeah, know what I mean, right? I can kind of see that. But that's still weird because, like, how does that work with him like hopping like human cars? You know, like, yeah, because human cars are obviously not from fucking Cybertron, so it's like yeah. that feels like it I should mean, they, be possible. But, but, but actually, they might be. Yeah, you know. Are you saying cars are from Cybertron? Well, yeah, because they reverse engineer the. But the idea of them, right? Because in World, Bumblebee is around in World War Two. Which who's to say that the first vehicle wasn't just you know what I mean? Well, because right? we had cars before World War Two. Well, I know, but who's who said that they didn't <laughs> land there before World War Two, right? Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? could who's be. to say like that, like the vehicles that, like, like you said, the reverse engineering of another, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the cost of the vehicle did come from Cybertron, right? Yeah. Like I think one of the things that this that I've realized through this, this kind of conversation is that they 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 don't address that cars were made by humans, but they also don't address the fact that they weren't just you know what I mean. Right? <laughs> they never say that it's not made by the the Autobots. <laughs> like they they don't right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but they also leave room for the fact that they, they also talk about how they reverse engineered a lot of things to make these scientific breakthroughs, right? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I I, I so guess, they, yeah. Like, the weird, yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. And, and they just they reverse engineered these things, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then they just built their own, yeah? <laughs> I don't yeah. But no, I, I feel like something akin, a comet system akin to God of War or even Batman. Spider-Man, yeah, I think just adds a lot more creativity, something like that. And It'd just be a fun there's game, so much yeah. more than, just, or even like so much more than, dude, sorry, fuck a game like Anthem. Like Anthem is like has such good potential for like a fun third-person yeah. shooter type game, and I, would, I think that would work well for Autobots too. Like the way you have like the dodges and like the w- different weapons and stuff. Like exactly right. Like if that game was good, that'd be a good example, but it's not. So, and I just, I just think that I hope just I hope it's not just like some third-person shooter where you do like melee stuff sometimes. Right, you know. Yeah. Because I think I think when I hear the word third person shooter, I think of something more like Gears. Yeah. yeah. Right. That is also something like Gears has struggled with. Like, if I were making a Gears War game, I would do more like melee shit. Make it so like they're in the future and they don't have industry anymore, so their like guns are rarer and they have to use like fucking swords and shields again. You know. Yeah. And they kind of do that like in Gears Five. There's more melee weapons, but it's just like the same thing, kind of reskinned. Like it's just a fucking baseball bat essentially. But it's like. Yeah. There's an attempt made for something there, and that's and that's what I that's what I hope just Transformers game is like. So I think if it's like that, I'll definitely play it. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. I just think there's a lot of potential ways to do it. All you do is shoot and melee sometimes. <laughs> I, I do think. Yeah. You just... <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Well, I've I've had my fill of talking about Optimus Prime for an hour and a half. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we really did. <laughs> we made this joke for the podcast, and this, this is what we were gonna do. And... That's what we fucking did. That's exactly Hell yeah! What we fucking did. <laughs> so, we to just purely talk about Transformers and like a little bit of other things. <laughs> like we segued into Star Wars and somehow pulled it back to Transformers. 
<laughs> we talked about Deadly Crossovers and still continue to talk about Transport. <laughs> oh, we just combined them, you know? <laughs> we <Yes>. just. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you much, uh, everyone, for listening. If you have, um, <laughs> uh, I have a lot of fun with this for like our whole like eight viewers. Like it's so much fun yeah. doing this, yeah, even if it goes out to no one. Good. Like it's, it's still it's fun good to be back. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. I like you recording I mean? this. If we get like some stupid shit to go on, but yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Autobots get down! He just fucking thunder crashes like through the middle of the battle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still no, love even, that. It, it, it's not him. It's him in semi form. <laughs> <laughs> it just jumps up to the semi the thunder crashes. Oh, Lord. It's the flat face, like the classic semi truck, just fucking yeah. like a fist, like flying through the fucking yeah. air. <laughs> With no sense of propulsion whatsoever, it's just flying through the air like fucking Santa's sleigh. Like, <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Thank you guys very much for watching. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah, thank you. <sighs>